Good morning, and welcome back to No Man's Land. How are you doing? I'm good. Bit of wet outside. It's okay. So, it's the next month. I didn't plant anything in this field because, you know, as we all agreed on, I would be planting uh, wheat or barley. Not quite sure which one I go for, but it doesn't matter. Let's, well, actually, let's see which one we go for. Uh, this is the one. Wheat, oh, it's the same consummation, cons yeah, doesn't matter then. Wheat or barley? Um, wheat. Anyway, I cut down a couple of more trees over there by the, the lake. It's a heavy load. But, managed to get it in. We're on here, let's just hope we can make it to the shop in time. So today I will be planting on that field, field one, possibly create a second field. Um, I have a little bit of money, so we can afford to purchase maybe some better equipment, not sure. We'll see what happens. I have all the equipment I need. Wait, yeah, I did get the sprayer, yeah. So I have all the equipment I need to plant, maintain, and harvest basic cereal crops, um, except for what I don't have is the pesticide stuff. So I might look into that. I just got a feeling it's going to be extremely expensive. But we, we'll check it out. A little bit of a fog bank over there on the left. It's nice. So, how did you enjoy the first episode? Slightly different than the last series, but. It's all good, I think. I don't know if firewood sells for better than wood. A little bit of a weight distribution issue there, but we managed to save it. So let's just turn off the engine, remove those things. Don't really need to, but it makes it easier for the ghost workers here. Ta-da! 7,645. Nice. Actually, let's find out. Is... Um, wood, wood. They're plank furniture. These are the new stuff. Strawberry ice cream, soy drink, popcorn, oat, meal, oat drink, mixed salad, tomato sauce, noodles, premium potatoes, french fries. All of those are sold in the shops downstairs, um, which is nice. It's supposed to be wood somewhere around here. No? Oh, wait, sorry, there it is, wood. Okay, so that sells for that. Wood chips sells for that. Doesn't tell me anything. Still thousand of firewood selling point so it's slightly better price but what is the max price September now is the time to sell wood well how about that then it's crap in August where I started and then it's crap and they are basically not interested in time else hmm. Interesting. What's available on here that we might purchase? Absolutely nothing. We can afford this, but why would we get that? What is it? Slurry distributor? We don't have a slurry tank. Um, no, I don't really see anything. I mean, this one would be nice for the water aspect of the things, but don't have any greenhouses. I guess I could afford to purchase a greenhouse. Um, I told you before that I have different greenhouses or new greenhouses. So 
these are the ones you need fertilizer, seed, water and manure to plant these things um, fertilizer, seed, water, manure can you buy manure? Yeah, the farm shop. Right there. But we don't need that. We need something for um, sprayer, I guess. Ooh, that is expensive. That is just an extra tank. That one. 26.5. Need a little bit more money. I think I'm okay on the field now for crap. Or wheat. Not sure. Okay. Let's go back and see what's happening. I did buy a extra bigger uh, weight. I needed to counter the weight in the back for carrying two or even three uh, trees like I did now, like really big trees. Then yeah, this is this is. Um, needed so let's do let's do wheat on that field I think it can plant while it's raining I'm not sure should be able to I think and also let's discuss what's gonna happen in the future of the series well um, to make money as it is right now, I need to cut down trees. Um, I cannot, well, I can basically just plant, uh, fertilize, and then jump ahead one month or so, fertilize, and then jump ahead until uh, harvest time without spending too much money. But I feel that's not the right way to do things. So I will not be doing that. So I got plenty of trees to cut down on my land. Um, don't want to do too much of that because it gets boring quite fast. Let's drop that one there and pick up the cedar instead. Excellent. So yeah, we have 304 liters. I thought I said 340, but 304. But it doesn't matter. This field is not big enough to need all of it. I can set up a course. Oh, quiet. Great job. This field. 2.9. No headlands, just go up and down. Generic field work. 2.9. So field, there, save course. So uh, seed, 2.9 meters. There we go. And we are starting on this side, I think. A little bit outside, which I guess is okay. Now the reason I'm doing this is because this is like a poor man's GPS. There's no point in me in planting anything here, is it? You know what? Let's just clear that. Just do it manually.
Okay. It's a bit of a struggle. Looks like I need a more powerful tractor. There is a, a new uh, set of tractors out, uh, Antonio Carrero. Um, mostly designed for olive and grape uh, wine work, but it might work here, like this, if it's more powerful than this one. Down. There you go. Come on. You can make it. So let's look at small tractors. Well, first let's look at what we have. We have 135 horsepower. That's not bad actually. That's very good. Maybe it's the heavy front weight that is pushing me down. But can we look at the Carrero? 35, 19, 38, and then it's too expensive. Okay, let's see what happens if we dump the front, front weight or pick up the other front weight. go are you able to function better we need better tires maybe I need to buy some uh, narrow tires for field work when there is crop on it Wow, this is really slow. Why is it so slow? Oh, the tractor might need some repairs. Yeah, let's repair the tractor. Seems to be struggling quite heavily to get this sorted here. And I, I really hope you can hear me. I, I can't really hear myself, actually. With the loud engine noise and the thundering up ahead. Okay, you're kind of blocking. Oh yeah, I bought a set of fuel tanks or fuel drums. Here, so I can um, refuel without having to go back up to the cell point. Step inside. Um, repair the tractor first, 2000, 1200. Can repair this one as well. Probably going to be keeping this around for a bit. There we go. Let's hope that was the only issue for it being so slow. Let's do a row on this side. To see how we can sort that out if it's not maybe it is a weight issue it seems to be struggling less which is a good thing we want less struggle in the world. Ok, 
Okay. This is good. Come on. We can do it. Still a bit of a struggle in this direction. It's not good. Is it because it's wet? Raining? Could that be a reason? Skidding a little bit. Let's put on the small weight in front and see if that makes any difference. Because I think I've had it on my test run. <coughs> Or maybe it is just crappy weather, which is not crappy weather, it makes stuff grow. There we go, come on in. Seems like it's got a little bit of a better grip at this time. I could be just be wishful thinking on my part. Uh, the sound in your headphones. It's loud. Oh yeah, that should do it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing this uh, here in September. And then I'm going to be building a new field back there. Possibly a second plant. Maybe I'll do uh, barley on that one. Oh, wouldn't that be confusing? Like I said, I do have pretty much all I need to make this work. So why don't I continue this and I'll bring you in when I'm done here when I plant it and, and fertilize this field and I bring in when I make the other field. How does that sound? Oh, to me it sounds awesome. So, see you soon. And welcome back. So, I did sort out that field. <laughs> uh, I planted it and I, um, what do you call it, fertilized it and now I spent all the money on getting this type of equipment here. Now this here is a subsoiler. It works sort of like a plow except that it, it's square, you know it makes straight lines, the plow makes sort of like diagonal. So I bought this one to, um, you know, when I need to plow or create new fields is the one I'm going to be using. This one, it com a combination of these two. I just take one and attach on either side here. Uh, rollers, also needed. And then this is a weeder. It's the cheapest thing I can get that will take care of um, weeds. So I need to bring all of this down to the farm. But I'll do that later. Um, I also need to roll the field that I have. And I definitely need to cut down some more trees. But now I feel I have everything I need to plant and harvest cereal crops. Which is a good thing. I will have a sip of coffee on that. Yummy. So, don't really know what it is you want to see me doing. I have to do everything, uh, just don't need to record everything that I'm doing. 
but I do value your input if, if you would be kind enough to comment on my video as you watch it or after you watch it um, also you know provide some tips and tricks on you know how to get things rolling here on no man's land I mean obviously cutting down trees is, a, is an option but is it selling the logs selling wood chips selling firewood is, is which is the best option to go for basically now this one as you can see here allow creation of fields so this is great that's what I will be doing just need to get around the trees that I haven't cut down yet get back into my let's see where should we well it's still too far out let's start let's start here let's see can we line up properly there we go so lower it now I'm gonna do slightly towards the hill it's not gonna be too big of a field there we go create fields and I'm gonna go slow wait I'm gonna back up and we're gonna start this recording yeah that's right this one is gonna record the field edge I guess I don't really need to because if I go in here I cannot see diddly what I did so yeah, I guess I need to slightly uphill so let's do a turn I guess we go in a 90 degree angle here not an angle but There we go, 90. Yep, excellent work. Keep it to 90. There we go. Keep it to 90. There we go. Now oh, it's too much. Start turning here again. Don't want to make the turns too sharp, I think. I don't know, I do. So this is going to be to 270 or 180? 180, 180, I think. No. Yes, 180. Maybe not. Yeah, just go. Then we turn again. 270, I think, is the appropriate direction here. To get straight to where we... There we go. Get us back to where we started. Roughly. Now I can make it so we go straight back.
and that's it. Yes. Now we have an outline of a weird looking field. Not too bad. Slightly bigger than this one. Um, so I will keep. Let's get this up. Well, I could keep going, I guess. Doesn't have to. Be as careful anymore. Just make sure we get everything. And then we got to pick up a bunch of stones. Um, let's see, that's so weed growing. So I need to lime it. I weed it. I weed it, and all kinds of fun things. I think I will remove the trees that is in there. Don't really want them there. And then I will plant something else here. See how the time is when I'm done with this part. This um, plowing. Because if we look at the field info, like here. Um, it says it's cultivated, which is strange. But does it need plowing? No, it doesn't. It just need a bunch of lime. It's already fully fertilized, which is great. And the subsoiler is slightly wider than the plow that I started with. So that's great. The stone I will just keep until I can afford the lime machine. Oh, of course. I was hoping I would be able to get that part, but near no, yeah. that would make it too easy. So yeah. So please, you know, like, comment, subscribe, uh, really help me out, and um, what else? Yeah, I think I will end the episode here, it's closer to, you know, 30 minute mark than my first episode was, which was like a, a double episode into, rolled into one, just to try and catch your attention and all that things by the time I get back in tomorrow's episode uh, this field should be done I will try and keep uh, each episode to one day one month kind of thing just to keep it going um, but definitely need to cut down more trees I got a bunch here to cut down Maybe I can make a second field next to this one, or I could possibly extend this one to go closer to the fence of the building. Uh, we'll see, you know, it's future plans. And you, if you want to, can be part of those future plans. Just give me a comment on what you want me to do and how you want me to get about doing it. And. Uh, we we'll take it from there, shall we? Sounds good, right? Okay. So, with that, I will bid you all farewell for today. And I hope you had a good time. And I hope I see you in the next episode. Until then, please take care. Bye-bye.